Hello YouTube world, pretend farmer here. Not a real farmer, just pretending. You know we got a heat wave going on here on the pretend farm. And pretend farmers installed a fan back in the coop to kind of help circulate some air and keep them cool at night while they're on the roost. Because temperatures are pushing close to 100 degrees and they just don't get that here a lot on the pretend farm. Chickens, they like cooler weather and we try and help them out during these really hot times. So anyway, if you hear a fan running in the background and you're wondering, what is that annoying noise? It's their fan, I'm sorry. Gotta keep the chickens comfortable. In this video, I wanted to take a little bit to talk about something we've never discussed here before on the pretend farm. We're gonna talk about worms. Worms in your chickens. Do you need to deworm them? How often do you get worms in your chickens? How do they pick up these worms? How do they get in there? We're gonna discuss them. And this might make you a little itchy. I know Pretend Farmer got itchy research in this stuff. So first off, how do chickens get worms? The chickens are gonna get worms through ingestion, meaning they eat them. And this happens one of two ways. As you know, chickens are always constantly scratching and pecking around on the ground. This time of year in the summer, they'll often eat bugs like grasshoppers, crickets, that kind of stuff. They're gonna get worms by either eating a cricket or some type of a host that has worms inside of them. They'll eat that and they'll get the, the worms in them from that. Or they might just get it from eating contaminated ground. Say you've got a chicken with worms and another chicken that's worm free. If that chicken that has worms poops and then the other chicken comes along behind it and picks around in its poop, it can pick up worms that way too. Now I'm gonna let you in on something a little scary. Chances are, your chickens already have worms. Just about all chickens do have worms. And the good news is adult chickens actually have built up a resistance to these worms as long as they only have a reasonable amount. When you're talking about the worm load that a chicken has, most chickens do carry worms with them all the time. And there's like five or six different kinds of worms they can get. It's really confusing. It gets really heavily scientific. Pretend Farmer doesn't even want to go into it because Pretend Farmer's not smart enough to understand how to even pronounce all these different types of worms. But that's not important. The main thing is, if you truly really want to know what kind of worms your chickens has, you need to take a poop culture to your vet. And if you take that culture to the vet for them to examine under a microscope, they can tell you what type of worms your chicken has and how you need to go about treating them or if you need to even treat them at all. Uh, they can tell you if it's a problem, if they've got too many worms, just by looking at their poop. Now, I don't personally know of anybody that does this and we've never done this on the pretend farm. Don't plan to. And I really don't think it's necessary because there's signs that you can look out for. Unless your chickens get overloaded with worms to the point where they're getting sick, you really don't need to treat them for worms, in my opinion. Now, somebody's gonna disagree, but this is just pretend farmer talking here. You've probably heard before that feeding your chickens things like pumpkins or putting some apple cider vinegar in their water, those types of things treat chickens for worms. That's actually false. Pretend farmer learned something here. You know, while feeding them pumpkins and apple cider vinegar, that kind of stuff, that kind of creates a very unwelcoming environment in their intestines for worms to be present. It's more of a preventative thing, which is good, but it won't actually get rid of any worms that are in the chickens. So if you're trying to treat your chickens for worms and they've already got a worm problem or they're overloaded with worms, apple cider vinegar or throwing them some pumpkins that's not gonna get it because that's not gonna actually kill the worms that are inside of them. Now, you're probably saying, well, how do I know if my chickens have too much worms? Well, first of all, the big, big thing is if they poop and you can see the actual worms like round worms in their poop, you know you got a problem. Signs that your chicken is being affected by worms would include they stop laying eggs, they start to look sick, pale combs, lose weight, if they have foamy or runny, watery looking stool, that can be a sign of worms. Obviously, if you see the worms in their poop, that's a bad thing. But the cool thing is a healthy adult chicken has resistance to worms and they can handle these and be okay for the most part. 
the problem occurs when your chickens become compromised or stressed, like say they actually get sick or malnourished. That can give those worms an advantage to start taking them over, and then the worms can kind of do some damage. So what do you do to actually prevent worms then? Well, for starters, keep your chickens on good, clean ground. Don't put too many chickens in too small of a run. Don't put too many chickens in too small of a coop. And if you're gonna have chickens in a coop, make sure you clean it out regularly. Make sure you keep your, your ground in your run sort of swept and scraped clean. Don't let their droppings pile up. It's also a good idea for this reason, not to throw their feed down on the bare ground. You know, if you can actually get them to use and eat from a feeder or some kind of a container or a trough or something, much better than just throwing their feed out on the bare ground, they're less likely to ingest worms. Like we talked about, pumpkins, apple cider vinegar, these are things that do make good preventative measures as far as keeping them from getting worms to begin with. You wanna make sure you keep your chickens healthy. You know, make sure you're feeding either a commercial chicken feed that has all the stuff in it they need to stay healthy, or if you're making your own feed, make sure you're putting the stuff in there that they need, stuff that's not gonna leave the chickens malnourished. Like I said, those worms, most chickens have worms, but if the chicken becomes compromised or stressed, those worms can grab the upper hand then, and they can really start working on the chicken in a negative way. All of a sudden, that resistance that that chicken has built up to the worms, well, that resistance is lowered when the chicken is, say, sick or malnourished. So you wanna make sure you're feeding the chicken properly, keeping that chicken healthy. And just keep an eye on your chickens. If their feathers, their plumage looks really healthy, their combs are bright and colorful, they don't have the watery poop, they don't look like they're, you know, struggling, they're, they're laying eggs regularly. These are all signs that your chickens are probably fine and they don't have a worm problem. Isn't midnight here just a beautiful Australorp rooster? Look at that bright red comb, this beautiful iridescent looking plumage. He's a pretty bird. You know, if you spend enough time around your chickens, you know what they should look like. You can often look at a chicken and tell how healthy they are by their comb and their feathers. Oftentimes, based off their appearance and their behavior, you know when they're not feeling right. If your chickens start acting sick, you suspect maybe they might have worms, or maybe you see worms in their poop, I'd encourage you to go ahead and take a culture to your vet and let them prescribe you something or tell you what you can treat your chickens with. There's no one thing that will treat all different types of worms, and that's the tricky part. You know, depending on what type of worms your chickens have, it's not like you can just buy a dewormer that's generic dewormer and say, I'm gonna deworm my chickens. You may get lucky, but there's really no generic. The stuff is specifically designed to target specific worms. I've had some people tell me that they use diatomaceous earth and they say that that treats all worms, but I can't find anything really solid that actually backs that up other than just people saying we've done it and it works. If you use diatomaceous earth and you think that it helps with your worms, leave a comment and let us know. We'd like to hear from you. We don't have any plans to actually treat our chickens for worms here on the pretend farm because pretend farmer doesn't see any signs of worms and I'm assuming they probably do have some, but they look healthy and I have no reason to go and pump medicine in them whenever they seem completely unaffected. We're gonna feed them pumpkins this fall. We're probably gonna start doing some more apple cider vinegar on occasion, maybe like every other week or something, dosing a little in their water, just to be safe. That's all the pretend farmer really has to say about worms. If you know anything about worms that the pretend farmer left out, leave a comment. Let us know. This is a very, very tricky subject. There's a lot out there about worms and it gets really deep. So it's very hard to make a video on worms, but I'm just trying to give you the easiest to understand, simplest form of what to do with worms and your chickens. Until next time, this is the pretend farmer reminding you keep them worms away from your chickens.